Hey guys, welcome back. So today is Jersey Day. We're so classy now. Which means I wanted to do a Jersey Day Q&A with my fans. I asked a few weeks ago um, on Instagram in my stories if anyone wanted to ask anything Jersey Shore related and I would try to answer them unless it was like X-rated. I just would get in trouble. So I am actually very nervous to start. I haven't seen any of these questions. So fingers crossed that they're not embarrassing. Um, listen, I know this is gonna come out wrong, but I'm gonna say it anyways. It was the episode Nicole got punched in the face. Because seriously, like, I realized that was the love of my life and we would be together forever because I loved her. But I don't think I would have knew that love for her if that traumatic experience didn't happen because it just filled me with crazy rage and I wanted to beat the crap out of the guy that did that to her. And, and it also set this like world, like, it, it created such a like taboo thing because how dare you show as an MTV a man hitting a woman and it's like wait a minute um, that happened it was real life and like real life things are gonna happen um, even if you're on a reality show with 20 security guards around you I mean did we ever think Nicole was gonna get hit absolutely not did we ever would anyone intentionally put her in that position? No, like that's the shock of it. Like, but it actually just opens up this vulnerable, like, I don't know, like I said, taboo issue that nobody wants to talk about. And I find that moment to be devastating, but also iconic because Nicole ate that shit like a champ and we went out drinking the next day. Personally, my favorite season was Hmm. I want to say Italy, but like, I was really drunk. And I feel like I only remember chunks of Italy. <laughs> That's why I like it. But then, actually, I will say Italy because Dina was there. And it wasn't like the previous season when Dina just got there because there's a lot of drama that I had to deal with. And like, it was a continuation of the Ron and Sam sh so I would say like we all went into Italy, like even playing field, happy. I mean, don't get me wrong, it turned to shit. My roommates became lesbians for like a couple days too. That was, that was interesting to see. But outside of that, like I found it to be a very good time. And I was skinny. I liked that. Is Jersey Shore scripted? I wish it was scripted. Honestly, I wish I didn't do the things that I did. Um, no. Jersey Shore is a formula and it works. I don't know if it necessarily works for 2020, but it worked for 2010 era. Um, no cell phone, no internet, no TVs, no pens, no paper, no magazines. You stick eight people in a house for over 30 days. How the hell do you think you're gonna act? Like, and it's always like, um, like this, like roller coaster. It's like everyone starts out great in the beginning and then Everyone's really sick of each other by midtime, and we're fist fighting and drinking more and just like, fuck you all over the place. And then by like the last week, we all love each other again because we're excited that we're leaving. We never know how it's edited. We never know what other roommates say in an interview or behind each other's back. So sometimes those are really hard pills to swallow, but no, tragically, Jersey Shore is not scripted. Even, but if you ask my kids, I'm an actor. And if you ask my mom, I never really hooked up on camera. So actor there as well, because my mom thought I was a virgin. Moving on. Um, it's wild. You know, I will never forget the first season, the last day where we all cheers on the rooftop. And we said, or let's do this again next year. But now I'm so used to saying seasons. Um, and I remember the producers like snickering. <laughs> Little did they know, they'd have to be putting up with, uh, with us for 10 years as well. And um, originally Jersey Shore, I don't think we felt like a family. I think 
the fame, the insecurities, being in your mid 20s, early 20s, um, the fact that it was just like an insane roller coaster ride. And on top of it, like, we're pinned as competition because, you know, people are going to rate us no matter what. So it's like you have the cool one, you have the more popular one, you have this one, you have that one. So being young and insecure, like, that's a hard pill to swallow. And as much as I love someone, I might be envious of them. So it, I don't feel like we felt like a family then, but I can tell you today, when we went back to Jersey Shore family vacation in Miami, and every day since, there has not been a day that I haven't spoken to them. Um, group chat is lit better than ever. I expect 100 texts every morning by the time I get up because everyone's on a different time zone. Today where I stand, like I choose that friendship over anything else in this world. Obviously not when it comes to my kids, but like they are my ride or die friends and I would do anything for them. And instead of feeling like we're in a competition, we truly uplift each other. And so you, everyone knows Sam used to take the longest to get ready to go out and then it somehow transitioned into Angelina. I have no idea why. Like we all know that we're starving. Like we know that we have to leave by a certain time and maybe this is just the mom in me, but like get your shit together and be on time. I'm hungry. End scene. The premiere was crazy, but you get to see I don't know, I call this season my redemption season and I have no idea why because I haven't seen it. But last season I didn't turn out great and I watch it real time with everybody else. Um, you know, I, I give producers a lot of credit because they really try and fit so much information into like 42 minutes, which is our hour long show without commercials. And sometimes they can't captivate at all. And as best as they try, I just feel like I came off in, in bad taste the last season for things that like I wasn't aware of and things that like I like couldn't control and I, I just didn't know. So I was fighting a one-sided battle, truth, truthfully. So this season, I'm praying that they're able to just show things as accurate as possible, but there's so much drama. I mean, it caused like, it literally caused my best friend to leave the show for anything future. And I, I'm just so curious as you guys are to see like how the hell is it gonna unfold? Oh my God. Yes, he is asking for a friend my And I am very picky when it comes to my roommates dating. So I need your social security number, age, uh, what you do for work and what the fuck you wanna do with Vinny because I'm not having it. Based on my attitude, season one, I can truthfully say I didn't like anybody. But I had that like no new friends personality. I came from Long Island, Queens. Um, I didn't know what the show was. Nobody did. I didn't even know if it was gonna be like a voting off show, a competition show. We had no idea we were moving in and like working at a t-shirt shop. Nobody had that clue. So like I was looking at everyone like, you're my enemy. Like I might have to fight you for like, like the battle of the number one Guido. Like, I didn't know what to expect. So it took a while for me to be like, oh wow, we're just really just hanging out, getting drunk and, you know, working at a t-shirt shop, no big deal. I kind of like them. Well, like my go-to is Nicole. I don't know because Nicole's like, Nicole's my number one pick for a zombie apocalypse. That bitch is so obsessed with zombies that I feel like that she will survive. She will be the last man standing. But when it comes to a deserted island, like it cannot be Vinny because all he'll do is talk politics. He'll somehow try and like dethrone the number one monkey on that island and like take over like world domination on it. Um, Mike would probably just try and like curl coconuts all day. Um, Dina, no. Just can't. I love you, girl, but like your anxiety would give me anxiety. We're gonna pass on Angelina. I'm gonna pass on Ron because he'll try and like end up on Instagram stories, like going buck wild, even though we're stranded. So that's not happening. But then like Paulie's low key, like very intelligent. 
and like very crafty. Um, so it would be like a toss up between Nicole or Polly, depending if there were zombies or not on this island. So I'm all about the butterfly effect. So I never wanted to like fully change anything in the past of me on the Jersey Shore because everything has a consequence. But what I don't think would have a consequence would be how I look like I didn't shower. Like, I wish I got my shit together. If there was one thing I could do is like, you know, your hair, give, put a lot of effort into like, looking like you don't smell. Just like, hey girl, this show's actually gonna be like number one for many, many years. You might wanna start out the gate winning, not looking like swamp be great. Mm, no, I don't think Sammy's ever coming back. No, I think she's, she's moved on. So I will still always hold out hope that Nicole will come back. This season that's airing, Nicole's there. She made the decision after this season, which might confuse a lot of people because there is a whole season of Nicole still here. So we haven't technically started filming a new season, uh, one that Nicole wouldn't be a part of. So like, Mia's her best friend. I can't imagine doing this show without her. That puts me in a between a rock and a hard place. But at the same time, I have like this like hope. Like I said, this is a redemption season. So I'm like hoping that my boo will come back. Like the knight in shining armor. She is, she's my knight. So technically, Milani kind of watches Jersey Shore already only because she was in Mike's wedding. And she now, realizes that mommy is on TV, which makes it very difficult because she doesn't care for the Jersey Shore. But like recently I was on Ellen and my daughter was pissed that Ellen did not invite her on her show because my daughter doesn't really care for Jersey Shore, but she loves Ellen. So Milani went on and on and on about why is mommy allowed to be on Ellen and I can't and I want to show off like my basketball skills like the kids on Ellen do and I'm just like, oh my God, girl. So I really hope she keeps that like level of like, I really don't care about what you do. I just want you to like put me on Ellen and, and let me meet Jojo Siwa because also I'm on YouTube right now, right? My daughter has made it very clear that mommy's YouTube is not like Jojo's YouTube, which is cool. Mommy's YouTube is just boring. So that's great. Thanks, Milani. So now that the new season is airing, um, I'm really excited because I'm sure you guys will have all new questions. So enjoy um, this season of Jersey Shore Family Vacation and hopefully we will be doing a new Q&A soon in regards to the new season. So I love you guys, subscribe and comment below.